Caution! This is an M-rated game, so the magical chicken insists that viewer discretion is advised. It's time for the Dead Space Extraction Review for the Wii. Now before I start, I just have to say that if you are squeamish or uncomfortable about gruesome images, then I recommend you stop watching this video. It's not going to be pretty. Okay, here we go. Now I haven't played the original Dead Space, so there's not going to be any comparisons to it, even though it's not for the Wii anyway. The story starts out with you as a space miner on an alien planet with your crew trying to extract something from the planet. As the game plays through, your crew starts hallucinating and eventually they try to kill you, but you kill them instead. Your character eventually dies, and you start out as a new character with new people in a different place, but the scenario is similar due to defending yourself against fatal enemies. The whole game is a rail shooter through the eyes of your character. You don't have any control on where your character moves or looks around, in other words the camera, all you have control over is your variety of weapons to defend yourself against enemies. At any time during the game, a friend can join in with you and help you kill off enemies, which is a very good thing since the game can become very hard with you just playing alone. You can have up to four weapons at your disposal, and every weapon is different enough to give the game strategy in killing off your enemies. You and your friend each have your own sets of ammunition for each weapon, however you will both have the same four weapons at the same time, instead of mixing and matching different weapons for each of you. Each weapon has two different types of firing modes. Holding the Wiimote regularly, or twisting it a bit, will let you shoot one of two different projectiles from the weapon, which is great, since each type of projectile from a weapon is good for different scenarios. Now I did say that you don't have control over your character's movements, but there are some times when you will get to choose a path in the level, which I thought was pretty cool. Throughout the game, there will be items which you can pick up via point and click with the Wiimote, such as new weapons, ammo, and health packs, as well as written and video documents which help play out the story. The thing is though, it can be quite tricky in picking up the items, because since you don't have control over the camera, you have to be ready at all times to see when items are in your character's viewpoint. Now there are actually a handful of times throughout the game where you get to control the camera of where your character looks, but only for like 5 seconds. This will usually happen in an area where there are a lot of items to pick up. It's sort of a reward system, kind of because the game will allow you to do this when you have just defeated a hard wave of enemies, or vice versa when you're about to fight like crazy, so it lets you stock up on supplies. The graphics are excellent. Of course, there's no comparison to Dead Space 1, but I still think it looks great. The environments are detailed and not blocky, and in a lot of areas, really gross as well, which just adds to the ambience of it all. I will say that a lot of the game... Well, the majority is very dark, so much so that I think you'll want to turn the brightness up a bit on your TV before you play. The controls are virtually perfect. Pointing and shooting is really all you do. The thing that gets on my nerves is that sometimes you won't pick up an item due to having to point and press the A button right on the target. It gives you very little leeway when trying to pick up an item, which can become annoying. The motion controls are used very little, but they work when needed. You'll shake the Wiimote when in certain dark areas to light up the room some, and you'll also shake the Wiimote when trying to knock enemies off of you. You can also shake the nunchuck to perform melee attacks when in a desperate situation, or when you need to knock down fragile walls. The voice acting was terrific. It really helped with the story and the atmosphere of the game. Thing is though, I'm not sure why, but it seemed like every character that talked had a different accent. Not complaining, just thought it was unique. Probably the most annoying thing about the game is the reticle. It's just too large for the game. Now it does display good information, like what type of weapon you have out and how you're shooting it, but it gets in the way too often and limits your controlled viewing window a lot, and it doesn't help when there are two of them on the screen. Now there aren't really any glitches in the game, except for this one, and it's a huge glitch. We were supposed to kill all the enemies in this area to move on through the level, but this one enemy went behind this structure and didn't come back out, even though it continued to attack us like it wasn't behind the structure. My girlfriend and I tried everything we could to hit it or lure it back out, but we couldn't, so we restarted the game. Problem with that is that the game is on an autosave system, and so we had to backtrack about 1-2 to two hours of gameplay. Frustrating? You betcha! The boss fights are few, but they sure can be difficult. We were on the lowest difficulty, and it took us like 10 tries to beat this boss. Why it took so long was because we didn't have the best weapon for this boss fight, and the game can be either unclear on how to defeat it, unlike Zelda games where most of the boss fights are way too simple on how to beat them, or it doesn't really tell you what to do at all. There's a challenge mode where you can play certain levels for the highest score, and bonus material which can be obtained by completing levels throughout the game. Dead Space Extraction is a great game. Anytime co-op mode is a great feature, excellent graphics, nearly perfect controls, a great story, and terrific voice acting make this game very fun to play. However, there are some parts where the difficulty can be excruciating, namely some of the boss fights. The reticle can get really annoying because of its large size, especially when there are two on screen. The camera can be too shaky a lot of the time, which can make it really difficult trying to pick up items as well as trying to shoot enemies. And that huge glitch, which I'm gonna guess is just because of bad luck, really put us in a bad mood. Overall though, it is a really fun rail shooter, and can be quite scary at times too, which just makes it better for me, and it's even more fun when playing with a friend. 
This game gets a 4 out of 5 with the title of Awesome.